Good morning and hello explorers and welcome back to another vlog. So I just had a great and successful night sleep. Parked behind this old abandoned uh, fast food restaurant called the Copper Kettle. It's right back there as you can see that big uh, brown picket fence with a little I don't know smokestack ventilation thing on top and it's a red building. There's that tree right there. <laughs> There's a little drive through screen thing or whatever on the other side back there. You can't see it from this angle. And then the actual like I don't know window thing is over there or whatever. It looks pretty interesting. Apparently there's one in Nashville. I looked it up on Google Maps and it was temporarily closed. There's also some kind of abandoned thing over there. I don't know what it is or what it used to be used for. There's a power box on the side. Maybe it was somebody's house or something. There's a bunch of ivy growing off of the, uh, you know, that little lattice stuff. Here's the back of my van, if you're curious. Looks pretty good, everything stays super secure. If you want to know what type of van that I live in and more stuff about me, just check out the description down below and come along for the ride by hitting that subscribe button because I think you're really gonna love Benton Falls. <laughs> this will be the third time I'll go up here. It'll be the first time I go up here in the summer. It'll be the furthest out west I've ever been, uh, specifically just west of Chattanooga. And I'll be going into the central time zone for the second time. <laughs> so I'm super excited about this. I last came down here in my van in January. Uh, I have a little picture back there on the wall of my van, so that's super cool. My dash cam is currently recording. I have my AC on, and I guess I'm just going to uh, stop delaying and head down the road after I show you how much gas is down here. This is the cheapest I've ever seen gas. Look at that. It's $319 or $329 a gallon at Circle K. Look how cool this is, dude. <laughs> this is nuts. Like, straight up in a band restaurant here. <laughs> There's a lot library behind me and that's the uh divided uh four lane highway over there somehow I have to like turn around and go over there around this pole <laughs> to get there and then uh looks like it's gonna come a storm uh as you can see this guy looks extremely dark looks completely freaking insane so i don't really know how much swimming or hiking around i'm gonna be able to do up there uh i gotta upload four videos in here so probably do that first at the gazebo and yeah i guess that's basically it for this intro so i guess i'll go ahead and head down the road now Seems like every time I come down here, I pass my turn up to Benton Falls. Check this out. I just went a little bit further past the turn. Just gonna turn around here real quick and go down that way to the stop sign. But check this out. There's a uh, little pull out here and it's called Parksville Beach. <laughs> How cool is that? I'll go in and zoom in here real quick. You can see a little bit of a glimmer of the beach there. There's some steps going down. It's completely pouring rain right now, so yeah, it's pretty crazy. And there's absolute ton of little pullouts on the left side of the road for like, you know, the river access and stuff. It's pretty cool. There's a little bear safe trash can on our, all your standard stuff like always. And uh, yeah, there's many little parking spaces here. So I guess I'll just keep on going up to the top now. Don't know when it's going to stop raining.
enjoyed all that scenery on my drive all the way up here, please give this video a big thumbs up to let me know. And I honestly think that God created this place for me and a bunch of other people as well. I'm not the only one. It feels very special. And like always, I have absolutely no words whatsoever. This is seriously the greatest heavenly oasis paradise on earth, period, end of story. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> it's so freaking awesome. Like, I literally have like a jingle for it. I say, uh, it's the best place on earth. <laughs> Just like the, uh, Snapple. <laughs> I swear I'm not sponsored by Snapple. I'm serious. I make zero money for this. I just, uh, haven't bought it since, like, I think the summer. And I just got addicted to it. <laughs> It's so good. It's amazing. I'm glad I bought more at the Walmart a few videos back. I'm actually pretty darn hungry right now. So I'm just going to climb back there and grab one of my uh, Chicken and Stars Campbell's little soup drink things. And I'll probably sit up here in the front to upload those four videos that I mentioned earlier. Because, I don't know, it's just more comfy and everything. You know, there's a backrest. And most of the time, I'm like hunched over back there sitting on my bed. So, uh, yeah. There's the good old air safe trash can at the gazebo. That's absolutely pouring up here. But I really just don't give a crap what it's doing or even if I have barely enough gas or crazy stuff is happening or whatever really because this place is so awesome. Like there's literally zero negativity up here whatsoever. <laughs> I think the only vehicle I saw came down was a black car and then I think there was another one and then the uh, RV and camper small little thing of some sort so i don't really know how many people were up here camping i think there's like tent sites and potentially rv sites when it came back here in january uh obviously there was nobody here because it was the winter but i did walk through the campground section and the trail just back there behind me but i didn't go on the other section there's like more stuff to this place <laughs> there's also a bunch of trails and if you look on google maps there's a christmas tree farm which i think is somebody's property and if you keep on going down the road i think it turns into gravel there's actually a National Forest Service Road. How insane is that? There's multiple little peaks throughout here. And then this picture here that I got with my drone when I last came down here, as you can tell on the uh, very left hand side of it, you know, it's more visible. There's a peak there and everything that's less visible is uh, just mountains that are way further back, potentially uh, past that road that's down there. That uh, I think it's probably a good like 50 miles or so to go all the way to uh, the Teleco Plains. And then there was a windy, like more, I don't know, scenic road or something something pretty crazy back in there. It's absolutely nuts. You would have seen the B-roll footage in that too if you seen, uh, you know, the video. <laughs> uh, eventually it goes out there to a Indian Bounty Recreation Area and it's like, I don't know, like a 20 mile or so excursion on the gravel National Forest Road of Sitco Creek. <laughs> so that was fun. That goes all the way out there to the town of Von Road, Tennessee. And there's also a side road down there that goes, you know, to more back roads. I think it also, you know, connects into Teleco Plains as well. And then there's some kind of a sequoia bird place memorial so yeah there's a quick little couple minute tour of this entire area within like i don't know 100 mile radius or of some sort maybe not that much but yeah there's like different sections of here around here in this uh, entire area it's not just benton falls but benton falls is like the main place <laughs> it's awesome dude i need to make this my address seriously i need to switch all of my stuff over from virginia tennessee and just grab a p.o box down there at uh, the town of benton if they can actually do that because some places do it and some places don't they, you just just gotta make sure you gotta go to like a UPS store or any other ordinary place where you they actually let you put like an individual number, you know? So that's what Chrome does. Uh, if you don't know him, he's uh, his channel is Van City Van Life. He lives up in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So he's, you know, I think he's been coast to coast a couple times. I think as of this current moment, he's on the east coast of Canada right now in uh, Nova Scotia or something. So <laughs> if he, also one thing that's pretty hilarious is his birthday is on August 16th, the day after mine. And he's like 20 years older than me. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to be 28 years old and I think he's going to be 48. So big shout out to you you buddy <laughs> i've been following him for a while i still watch his videos i think he has over 240,000 subscribers right now as of this current moment i have 621 subscribers so hopefully before the end of the year i'll reach a thousand and uh i don't know maybe he'll give me a shout out and uh upload my van tour that i sent him and uh i don't know maybe some people will come over to my channel from his channel so it's 11:32 right now here's the view again i know you can't see much because there's rain over the place but uh yeah hopefully i can fly my drone 
drone and it stops raining. I have no idea what I'm, what I'm gonna do. If it doesn't stop raining, then I guess I'll just continue this video to the next day. But uh, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm so freaking excited. It's so much fun. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely incredible, dude. Finally, I'm done doing everything I had to do on my MacBook in there. Got the four videos uploaded. I edited together my uh, 2022 Favorite Adventures poster. Uh, <laughs> that took actually a lot longer than expected. I actually decided to order a 5x7 print from Shutterfly instead of an 8x10 because it's a little bit cheaper. I managed to uh, just edit it in Photoshop like the right, you know, size and crop and stuff so it actually doesn't cut off the sides. <laughs> it came out to $8.88. Uh, I was expecting to pay about 10 so I saved a dollar and 12 cents. Actually ordered two copies and I also ordered two copies of my The Valley of Freedom picture. So it should be at my mom's house somewhere in between the 23rd and 26th of August. I just got the standard uh, shipping that also lets you to be able to track it. So here's my van just parked here chilling in the parking space right here next to the gazebo. It looks pretty cool. I think it's like four o'clock right now. And I decided I'm going to spend all day tomorrow up here and all day Friday because apparently it's supposed to be sunny the entire day on Friday, which is going to be a lot of fun. And really the main reason I want to do that is because it's, <laughs> look at this, <laughs> I want it to be sunny up here, but either way, the fog is pretty cool. <laughs> look at all this fog that just rolled in. This is nuts. It's everywhere. Like the further away I get from my van, the less I can see it. <laughs> Actually, if I stand about right here, <laughs> I can't see it that much. <laughs> it's extremely foggy. It's probably like barely any amount of distance of visibility, probably around like 500 feet or something. Right here, I'm probably at like 25 feet. <laughs> Look at this. This is freaking amazing. Here's the gazebo. It looks pretty cool. Oh my goodness, I can't see nothing up here. <laughs> Hey, the wind's blowing. Sorry about the wind, if you can't hear me. There went somebody down the road. <laughs> a lot of the water is dripping off the uh, trees. I'm getting a little bit wet right now. <laughs> so maybe I'll bring an umbrella and, uh, I don't know, bring my backpack or something and hike down the trail to the waterfall. It would be cool to hike it in this type of weather. <laughs> but look at this. Looks super freaking awesome, buddy. <laughs> I'm just chilling up in here. There's our the graffiti, like always. All of the graffiti is still just chilling up in here. There's still some black stuff in the center. I guess somebody had a small little campfire. And there's my van again. I love van life so much. <laughs> it's just down there picking through the trees, just chilling. Here's some big boulders. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to say, <laughs> like always. This is a lot of fun. I can't believe I'm back out here again. <laughs> That was a lot of work, dude, seriously. That one is a lot of work doing stuff in there in my van. I'm excited, you know, when this trip is over, eventually I'll receive that poster. I'll go ahead and put it right here in the screen if you're interested what it looks like. As you can see, it does look pretty cool. There on the top left is obviously Benton Falls in January, and then on the top right is Stotesbury, West Virginia, and then the bottom left is Ocean View Beach, Virginia, and the bottom right is Cherokee Lake, North Carolina, so yeah, just gonna hike down here. <laughs> this is freaking amazing, best place ever, and I don't know what this green thing is, looks a bit weird, insect trap. <laughs>
As I was walking down the main road, I spotted something on the right-hand side. It's a small little parking lot, little uh, overlook section thing of some sort. There's some little stone wall thing, so I guess you don't go all the way down this big, muddy, crazy-looking slope. And I just found this thing that you just saw in the footage. <coughs> I have no idea what this thing used to be used for or what it is. I guess it's some kind of, like, historical monument thing i guess it's part of like the confederate stuff so there is some thing that comes up on google maps that says confederate historical something <laughs> i guess there used to be a sign there as you can see this has a shingled roof and then yeah there it is <laughs> It's pretty interesting. There's a red mushroom down here. I don't know what type it is or whatever, but I think there is one gnat and one fly in this entire like space here. Bugging the crap out of me, flying around something. So it was a little bit of annoying, <laughs> but I'm dealing with it. I guess the trail continues on down here. Uh, it kind of looks like it, considering how overgrown it is. It probably connects out down there to the main trail, which obviously goes along the line of the lake and then out there to like the campground and stuff <laughs> so i'm just gonna walk back up here and continue my hike down the road thankfully the fog is clearing up quite significantly <laughs> and then i don't know hopefully the sun comes out tomorrow so i'm not like here for another day <laughs> you know because i don't know i guess it doesn't matter you know when i leave this place i want to be satisfied i want to spend as much time as possible here <laughs> but not the whole month you know i got a couple more videos left on this trip after this one i think about five four in chattanooga and then the last one is the drive back <laughs> but yeah look at this here's this little uh i don't know turnaround spot <laughs> i guess it's only big enough for like two or three vehicles <laughs> here's a sign up here I uh, don't know what it says, but uh, I just came from back that way, and here goes the fog again. <laughs> there's fog all over the freaking place, <laughs> and there's the sun. The sun's trying to peek out. <laughs> this is so much fun, yo. Besides being completely swarmed by gnats on this entire hike all the way down this paved road, I swear to you, man, in my entire lifetime, I've never seen so many gnats just continually fly and just follow you and swarm upon your face. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Besides that, I'm really loving this place out here. It's freaking amazing. I hope you just enjoyed those clips that I just filmed. Look at that big, ginormous overlook back there. <laughs> it's insane. There's a lot of, like, cut-down trees and stuff. We're falling down trees. They're pretty darn short. I'm not too sure how far down this cliff goes. But, I just went through the uh, entrance, obviously, and then right around this corner is the main place with the lake and everything. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. There's the sunshine up there. I'm really hoping to God the, the sun actually comes out, and then I'll probably drive down here and park and then put on my swimming trunks and go swim around in the lake. <laughs> That'll be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Really nice place back here. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Obviously, I've been here twice already. And this is the third time. So yeah, I don't know what else I'm filming from this point on. <laughs> I guess we'll just come down here and explore a bit. And then, I don't know, probably hike on the trail back up to my advances. It's a lot easier and quicker. I won't have to go all the way down this paved road and loop it around and stuff. <laughs> but look at this. It's so freaking cool, man. I give this place and infinity stars out of infinity star there's a reason why i call it greatest heavenly oasis paradise on earth <laughs> it's so freaking cool dude but a lot of people know about this place now since i've been here
Ooh, well, finally made it down here to the waterfall. As you can see, there's the sign. And here's this ginormous flat stone thing just chilling there. And there's the trail going all the way down. So I'm just going to go down here and check it out and probably spend, I don't know, I really don't keep track or anything, but maybe like 30 minutes or something. And most likely, I'm just going to leave tomorrow. I don't feel like hanging around here. As you can see, this, technically the sun is already out. So why do I spend all day tomorrow here and Friday and then head out Saturday when I don't have to? <laughs> These bugs have completely freaking destroyed my mood on the greatest place on earth but uh yeah check this out <laughs> Look at this. Here's all these uh, wooden and cobblestone steps leading all the way down to it. It's freaking amazing. The waterfall just keeps on getting louder and louder and louder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I do know one thing. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to have to stop at a Walmart somewhere along my way to uh, Enterprise Nature Park and uh, grab some food. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at this. This is so freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't really know when I'll be back here in the future, but I'll definitely be coming back here for sure 100%. So I don't know what like the 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and every other time is going to be like. What kind of different videos I'm going to make. But uh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Here's a little, uh, I don't know, little view spot for the top of the waterfall. You got to be extremely careful and try not to slip and die, you know. <laughs> Obviously, it's not cliff jump worthy, so, you know. You can't just jump off this thing, it ain't deep enough. There it is. There's the waterfall. Just gotta loop around here to get down to the base of it. <laughs> this is so awesome. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the last time I came down here, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, was in January. I didn't come down here. So I don't know what the waterfall is like in the winter, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Look how cool. This is so much. Fun. Oh yeah, I take that back. I do know what this waterfall is like in the winter because the very first time I came down here was in March of 2019 in my old 49cc scooter that's obviously broke and gone now <laughs> a long time ago because I lived the van life now. This is a cool boulder. Look at this. It's absolutely crazy looking. There's so many jagged edges to it. And here's the water railing along the side with a bunch of people's names carved into it. It's pretty nice. I'm almost down here. Oh my goodness, look at all these magnificent trees. There's a lot of them, evergreen trees, pine trees, all your standard spruce trees. I think this might be your mountain laurel trees or something like that. And it's pretty cool, dude. I think there's another section over there. And I was looking on Google Maps. I think that there's a place called Rock Creek Scenic Area. I think if you keep on going on the trail up there, you'll get to it eventually. And I don't know if there's a trail leading all the way out to like the big valley where the main highway is and you can look down on it. <laughs> I have no freaking idea, but yeah, it's pretty cool nonetheless. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I gotta be super careful here when I'm getting down. Check this out. See that up there above my van? That's blue sky. It cleared up around here big time. So I'm probably not gonna spend another day or so here. Just gonna leave all the way down there somewhere. I'm super excited about it. So please stay tuned for that video. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Obviously I've already showed this place so I don't really wanna show it again and make this video any longer than it needs to be. But here's a 10 second clip of this overlook. <laughs> I just want to share one last thing before I end this video, and that's this picture of the view that I just got right here of the sunset. It looks pretty amazing. Obviously, the sun is completely behind the clouds now, and I think the sun rises in exactly 12 hours, so that means it's 8.30 p.m. right now, and I think I'm just going to park right there for the night. So, I don't know what else I'm doing. I guess I'll come out here for the sunrise in tomorrow's video if I'm up early enough. I just got to go ahead and, uh... You know, just do some stuff in my van, transfer some original footage and whatnot. Probably going to be up until like midnight. <laughs> but yeah, here's the view again. Look how freaking awesome it is. It's insane. <laughs> if you're interested, I talked about my Traveler's Adventure Village, which is a big thing I'm going to put like way out that way, potentially on a massive uh, piece of land. I think it's like a good five acres for like 75 grand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still for sale uh, as of this current moment. 
but I'll have to double check that. <laughs> I mentioned that in the, you know, when I came up here the last time in January. So you can check out the features goals section of my photography website and link below. If you want to see all the details, there's so much stuff on there. I plan on doing overseas trips and all that kind of stuff. And then finally build it when I'm 60 uh, some odd years old. <laughs> thing of the year 2054 is when I'll be starting the thing. Probably from age 60 to 65, there's going to be like 38 individual little TV screens across all four walls. There'll be no windows on the walls, and the entire ceiling will be skylights, except for a one foot wide little wooden outline trim piece along the uh, perimeter of it, and a bunch of other stuff around the property as well. So, <laughs> again, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, just check it out in the link below. And yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap up things right here since it is getting pretty late. <laughs> My phone's almost dead. So, like always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. May God bless you and all living creatures. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure.